Hey everybody, welcome to this video. Now, this is probably going to be the first of a series of videos um, as I install this new networking equipment that's here and I talk through the configurations and some of the, you know, the, the things that I love about it or discover about this as it goes. Now, here in the house, we already have um, the Amplify Instant Unit, which is actually a Ubiquiti product, um, but it's the kind of consumer product. It's plug and play. There's not a lot you can configure in about it, but it's great. I even have an Amplify unit at my mum's house because it's just great for her. She set it up herself and didn't need me to go and do it for her. They are great little units and the Amplify Instant has served us really well over the last few years. I think it's two years we've had that unit in this house um, and it has been great. However, I'm starting to notice that we are, now that we're working at home and my husband is potentially going to be working at home more often, there's going to be much more traffic on the home network and much more things and devices competing for that Wi-Fi traffic. So what we're actually going to be doing is installing some additional Ethernet ports here in this office for me for my um, equipment and also upgrading to the unif unif ubiquity um, nearly said amplify and um, the uni <laughs> ubiquity equipment throughout the house and what i wanted to do in this video is just talk you through some of the kit that i've picked why i've picked it and give you a rough idea of where it's going to go so this is the setup, so it's really a four-piece setup that we're going to be having that'll help us connect our Wi-Fi points and also connect those wire points that we are going to have um, and already have in the, the house already. So let's try and break this down and show you some of the, the equipment that I've bought. So let's clear this out and give you a proper view. So here we have the Ubiquiti Dream Machine Pro version. Now, there's two versions of the Dream Machine that you get. That's basically the all-round control unit for your system. Um, there is the Dream Machine, which is a small kind of unit that you could maybe sit beside the TV and quite happily um, have in, in your living room, that kind of thing. But I know a few people have actually had some issues with that and they've actually returned that because it's not been fit for purpose. And I think that's unfortunately due to some firmware bugs um, and, this, and such like within it so I've went for the U the Dream Machine Pro um, which is a rack mountable piece of kit but this is going to be the control unit for my network and um, so not only will this act as like the THCP server it will also act as has firewall um, detections in there it can detect malicious things and um, it will act as setting up just just basically the control unit to be honest of the actual networking everything will be plugged in here so this will sit downstairs in our cupboard where our internet um, connection comes in and we have fiber to the house so when we moved in here they actually had fiber all in the, the property already so we have a really good internet connection here so this will go in there and um, i will either plug it directly into the fiber box that we have and um, if i can get it to connect to my providers without using their equipment although there's conflicting information on the internet about whether I can actually bypass using my provider's equipment or whether I have to use my provider's equipment. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, either way, it will be plugged into the broadband downstairs um, in our house. And this has several ports in it in order to connect some wired things downstairs. So we have the Philips Hue um, lighting system. So this will plug into one of the ports here and we have um, an ethernet port downstairs as well so um, this will plug in there and that will serve um, I believe our TV is actually plugged into that ethernet port so that will serve as being able to you know do that backbone for those wired connections. Now downstairs I'm also going to fit one of these so this is the Ubiquiti um, Wi-Fi 6 long range um, access point so this will be a Wi-Fi point this will go um, downstairs and um, to serve the downstairs um, area of our house and hopefully some of my garden and um, there'll be several devices that will obviously connect to this Wi-Fi wi um, wirelessly um, our mobile phones, our tablets, our laptops, if we're if we're roaming, that kind of thing. And also my ring doorbells. Um, I'm quite conscious about seeing how these ring doorbells um, connect to this. Um, the ring doorbells, I have the Ring Doorbell Pro, um, seems to only want to connect to the 2.5 gigahertz frequency. Um, I want to see if I can get better connectivity through this and potentially even boost them to 5 gigahertz because they are capable of transmitting traffic on the 5 gigahertz chat um, network but they don't seem to do that currently with the amplify instant unit so um 
yeah, that'll be interesting to see how they perform and they're, they're probably my biggest worry at the moment around that. Now, these Wi-Fi access points are powered by Power Over Ethernet. So you have to have a power supply coming through your networking cable. Um, basically, there's no power unit that you can plug into this um, unit to make it work. You can't get a plug socket somewhere and plug it in and then have your data cable. You have to provide the power via the data cable, so through your Ethernet cable. Now, one thing I noticed is the Dream Machine itself, the Dream Machine Pro, although it has ports on it, they are not PoE, they're not powered over Ethernet, they don't provide any power. So this downstairs access point is going to have to plug in here. So in order to actually make this work, make the Wi-Fi access point work, I've had to buy a PoE injector. So, so I bought this little unit um, that will provide the power. So basically what this will do is actually power into a power point. So I'll plug this into the cupboard. Um, I've got a European or yeah, European plug here with it, but they've also given me a UK one. So basically the plug will go into the back of this. What I'll do is plug two ethernet cables into this. One goes into the LAN. So one will plug into the um, Dream Machine Pro to provide the data connection and then the other one will actually provide the power with Ethernet. So that's one thing that I noticed was a bit of an issue because I actually thought there was PoE in this unit and the Dream Machine Pro itself that would uh, power up my uh, access point but no it's not so I've had to spend some extra money on this one and I've had to make sure that I got the right one because with the Wi-Fi access point uh, the six versions there's more power draw coming from them so i've had to make sure that this is the right poe injector for them so yeah things to consider there now what i'm going to do for the upstairs is actually um i think be a bit clever about how to connect the outside or the upstairs sorry so what we're actually going to do is the cupboard where my internet connection comes into and where the stream machine pro sits is actually at the edge of the house so it has an exterior wall to it and um, so what we're going to do is drill a hole through that wall um, and put the cable up the side of the house and then run it into the loft that way and then from the loft what I'm going to do is connect that cable to this switch. Now this is an 8 port um, 150 watt PoE switch so this can power things so you can power devices off of this um, and this switch will sit in my loft and then from there I will connect the wired ports so the ethernet ports that are going in the corner over there for the home office so they'll be plugged in here and then we'll also have another Wi-Fi point um, up here as well to provide Wi-Fi coverage up here. So this unit is capable of actually powering my Wi-Fi point, so I don't need a PoE injector for that. So that's that's quite good. That's why I thought the Dream Machine could do it, but it doesn't. Um, so hopefully that will work fine. I don't intend to run a lot of power over Ethernet um, devices off of this switch. It's mostly going to be Ethernet ports. So there's four Ethernet ports um, going to be here in the office that will go into this device and then the Wi-Fi port. So it's only going to be that one unit that's actually going to draw power from this. So it should be more than enough um, to do this. Um, this will also help my CCTV equipment that's plugged into this upstairs in the loft um, connect me in so as I can connect to my CCTV and access that as well. So again, there's going to be no other devices other than the Wi-Fi access point drawn power for this. So it should be more than enough of um, capable of doing that. What I want to show you is actually inside this Wi-Fi point because I've actually been quite impressed by the packaging and the sh actually the size of this. Um, this is one of their biggest Wi-Fi points um, that they have. So I want to show you inside one of the access points because I've opened it up because I had to open it up. I just want to show you the, the sheer quality of packaging and the size of the Wi-Fi point as well. So this is the Wi-Fi point and as you can see it's quite big. <laughs> it's almost the size of my head if not bigger um, so you can get smaller ones there are smaller ones if that's a concern for you I've went for the long range one just because um, I was concerned about um, coverage through walls and I also want to like I said provide some coverage to the ring doorbells which obviously sit outside the house and outside our brick walls um, and hopefully get some coverage in our garden because we do get coverage right now with the Amplify Instant in the garden so I can work in the garden occasionally and um, so I'm hoping that these long range ones will more than adequately cover what we need inside the house and even outside as well. Um, the back is fairly simple. I can do um, a closer up and show you some pictures as well um, here. But like I said, there's only 
I'm not sure you can see it, I'll probably take a picture. Um, there's only one port here, you can plug in your Ethernet port, there's no cable for doing a, a cable for power, so you have to provide that power through the data cable, um, and that's why I've got the PoE injector for one of them. Um, inside you get a few bits and bobs that the installer will use. Um, this looks like a template and it's got a little um, kind of spirit level on it, so it's home assuming to try and help you actually align this to the wall or ceiling. Um, you've got the backing plates, you've got a couple of backing plates here, metal backing plates that will help you fix it to the wall or to the ceiling. There's various different um, indicators on this unit here telling you where to put points, um, where to, whether it's um, US junction points you're using or whether you're putting it to um, an EU type outlet. So that's important um, as well to make it align because you don't want a wonky install of your access point at all. Um, in here is actually a lovely little dinky kit of the screws and the connections. Let me see if I can get this out. So let me show you this. Um, this is pretty neat in terms of the packaging. You've got all the screw fixings, you've got the raw plugs, you've got little, key, um, I think, security nuts as well. Very cool. I actually just love the fact that that's, look, I'm just going to show you again because it's just amazing packaging how how neat and how simple and how um, just professional that's done. Very impressed with that. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, there's a small little leaflet. There's no instruction booklet. There's a small, I think there is actually an instruction booklet there. But there's a small little card here that you can QR code to get the instruction unit. So, yeah, very impressed with the setup and looking forward to getting this up and running. Hopefully it lives up to expectations, but given I've spoken to other people about this and um, hopefully it will it'll definitely be exciting to get set up but yeah thank you for tuning in hopefully like I said I will cover more videos about once it's installed and um, once the configuration is set up and I'll talk you through some of that but if you've got any questions do let me know and we'll try and answer them as well thanks for tuning in everybody mm -hmm.